Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to the channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and everything that you guys do. If there's something you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad um, to react to it. I hope you guys are doing alright, and may you stay blessed. So today, I'm going to be reacting to the coming for our kids Muslim react. By the way, if you want to reach out to us, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse, and just feel free to contact us, and we'll be more than glad to interact with you guys. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Not only does it encourage you to read, it tells you how many verses you've read, how many pages you read, how long you've been on it, and best of all, the Hasana counter. Download the Quran app now and have a Ramadan with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala's book like you've never had before. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. Hope you guys are well, inshallah. So, today um, I had a very interesting guest who actually had a podcast with uh, regarding the whole issue in Afghanistan. Uh, but he came to London and he's planning on moving to London, inshallah. Um, and yeah, he came to visit us at Salaam, uh, alhamdulillah. And yes, how are you, how are you doing, right? Exactly, I'm doing Allah bless you, inshallah. It's nice to see you in person. Uh, we met before as well. You yeah. bought me some Afghani clothes. Yeah, inshallah, which I'll, be, later, inshallah. I'll be wearing them and reacting yeah. to them, inshallah. And he will be wearing them, of course. Of course, inshallah, yeah. yes. Have you seen my Kurdish clothes? Yes, I've seen them. Oh, that's good, yeah, inshallah, yeah. yes. Is it similar? No, they're completely different. Okay, yeah. yeah but you okay. see, the, the Pakistan clothes like a mm. most like a Pakistani uh, yeah, clothes yeah, yeah. as well. So they're completely different. Like you know, yeah, like a course. male is a male and a female is a male. Yeah, female. Of course. Yeah, and in that in that in that sense, and in that's that sense, and that's yeah. a topic today. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you've seen it, but basically there's this new thing of Superman. We know who Superman is. You yes, know? know, he's a man. Yes. He's super, yes. and he does super things mm -hmm. as a man. Um, but now, but there's a superwoman as well. Yeah, there's a superwoman as well. So that's we don't have a problem with that. Yeah, yeah in the context, obviously, no they need to dress up in a hijab. Of course, mm -hmm. they can be superwoman. Yes. Uh, but the point is here now we've got uh, super bisexual. So they basically, they want to put something in between now. Yes. Now they want to uh, mishmash it uh, in that sense. Now we have a right to criticize um, mm -hmm. in, a, in a constructive way mm -hmm. um, and disagree with that. Mm -hmm. um, and we're not calling for any hate towards an individual, etc. But I really wanted to uh, address this issue because. Now you have Superman who is bisexual mm -hmm. and he is seen kissing and it reminds me of someone who is kissing another man. Is kissing another man. Okay. And someone said, I can't remember when, where this was from, but there was a person who's pro LGBTQT mm -hmm. who's saying that basically we are coming for your kids. This was a statement okay. he made. I can't remember where it was from. Mm -hmm. So it's an outright claim of war. Yeah, no, we're coming for your children. That and that's exactly it. what they're doing now. We saw it of Netflix. Um, there was this movie of these girls twerking. They're like 12 years old, man. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yes, like cuties, I believe. Cuties, yes, that's it. That's cuties. it, yeah. So, for example, how, where do you think this is going? Because there's a clear verse in the Quran where, where state shaitan, which is an enemy uh, to all of us, um, has promised Allah that he's going to misguide us by changing the creation of Allah. It specifically talks about cattle, the cut in the ear. But this doesn't just stop there. So... Are you not concerned? Like, like I'm generally concerned mm, because mm. there's an ayah in the Quran clearly we do yeah. recite in the yeah. four qul, okay. in the prayer as well uh, al yes. that amongst the shayateen there are jinn yes. and uh, Man, humans as yes. well the, <coughs> it makes you wonder why they are promoting the corporation yeah. this um, LGBTQ mm. community yeah. no other ideology been promoted to yes. this degree yes. that right now you not you cannot find Netflix movie yeah. without having a bisexual or lesbian yes. or gay yes. in it yes. you won't find for example they're trying to promote this idea yeah. some people need to really reflect why they're doing it in the first place mm. why I don't think it's even promote it's enforcing now like a child who is just 10 or 12 mm. he does not have the right to choose what time he want to sleep and he does not have the rights to skip his school, mm. but he has a complete right to change his gender. Yes. So do you think it's normal? Mm. This mm. is a clear mm. enforcement of children, the yeah. way you said that they're coming for our children. Mm. Of course they're coming. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think mm. that this is in any shape or form benefiting the future, benefiting mm. humanity. Mm. Uh, because my only question is, mm. if you genuinely believe that the whole cosmos is perfectly designed yeah. by the creator, yes. then why you can't adjust to the fact mm. that he can also design a perfect system yes. for humans as well. Yeah. Why do you have to twist it? 
You know what's very interesting? This book, which I'm reading uh, by Zishan, Irreversible Damage, he, he recommended it for me. Uh, so there's a, there's a girl called Ki uh, Kiara Bell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kiara Bell uh, goes to one of these clinics where she says she has gender dysphoria mm -hmm. and her parents are not called. Her parents are not called to say, you know, your daughter's going through this, like, any, like consultation, mm -hmm. nothing. You feel like that? No problem. Start hormone, hormonal tre uh, treatment straight away. Oh. It goes to a stage where she gets her breasts cut off. And now, by the way, it, it has no... Um, Effect on her mood. Yes, yeah, so it said the evidence base for this treatment is yet highly uncertain. Mm -hmm. Finally, the court noted the clinic's admission that the young woman who had begun the process of hormonal transition has shown no overall impo improvement in their mood or psychological well being. So she gets her breast cut off, mm -hmm. she's getting uh, testosterone, yeah, and at the end result is I still have depression and I'm still in the same spot I was mm -hmm. with two less breasts yes. now. She sues them, she's taking them to court. Uh, after how many years? I think it's about maybe four or five years. She's in okay. her 20s now. Okay. So in a nutshell, she's saying, I went through a phase. Mm -hmm. How are you just taking my word and, and making me cut my own? And you not consult my parents yes. or my doctor. Or, or, or I even, could be crazy. I yes. mean, I could be insane for that moment. And maybe I'm drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm what, coming there whatever it may be, we're not saying every person is insane. That what yeah, we're saying is, it's a big life altering decision. You know, mm -hmm. so the point is this brother and sisters, and this, this is where I don't want to long the video out, is that these are life altering body you know, amputating decisions, you know? Mm -hmm. And to me, it's like a lot of people come and say, why is Islam so harsh? They have harsh rules on certain things. For example, be it freedom, freedom of speech, you know, uh, or certain ideologies. What you do in your private house and we got um, in contrary to what you do in the public. Because what we can see today is that those doors have been left open. And anytime you let a human being be free, like full free, we can see the consequences of that. Um, you know, and, and th there is non-Muslims out there who agree with us. Yeah, of course. It's not a Muslim issue yeah. or a Jewish or a Christian, yeah. Christianity issue. This is an issue where it's pertaining to all of us, where this has gone out of control so much that now Superman is bisexual. In California, there is there is gender neutral toy section, you know, and they are enforcing. There was a uh, person, he's a, I think he's a psychologist, I think, a pediatrician, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Dr. Peterson? He, no, 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 not Jordan Peterson, he's a pediatrician. Oh. So anyways, the thing is, he does an experiment, so not him, but he has one of these um, colleagues, uh, not colleagues, um, um, clients. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they're like, okay, look, let's not enforce to their daughter, mm -hmm. dolls. Let her, let her play with cars and toys. Yes. So they give, the, they give the daughter a, a van, mm -hmm. a lorry, yeah, to see, like, you know, be neutral. Mm -hmm. So one day she comes and knocks on the door, mm -hmm. and, and the, she go, it goes into the girl's um, mm -hmm. room. She's young. And she says, shh, daddy, shh. He goes, why? Because Laurie's sleeping. So she starts treating Laurie <laughs> like a doll. Okay, okay. Yeah, she said, shh, Laurie's sleeping. Yeah, and then one day she saw the Laurie with the little Laurie. He said, this is Laurie's baby. Yeah, and it, the point is, the girl <laughs> turned it into a doll. The, the van, the, the car, she turned it into like, you know, a little baby figure. But Ali, what is the, why they're doing it? That's a question. Like, this is not in demand. This is not a necessity. Yes. yes. It's not needed. Yes, and it's not more, many people. That, it's yes. not like, it's like, it's you, not, it's, it's, it's a like pandemic. It's not being signed that we need yeah, such a yeah, movie. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. this is, why are they doing it? Yes, it's, 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 like I said before, man, it just comes back to Shaitan's promise to Allah that he will misguide us. And that is being implemented to this day because there is no boundaries. Do whatever you like. Like the, 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 the utilitarian um, viewpoint of the greatest good for the greatest amount of people, as long as you don't cause harm. Mm -hmm. But what they don't realize is that individual who's not causing harm to others is causing harm to himself. And when you have a group of these individuals, yes, the community as a whole is yes, damaged now. Even though the concept is don't harm another, do whatever you like, yeah. but you're harming yourself. And if each individual harms themselves, now we have a pand pandemic of mental health. Sweet. It goes on, it goes on. But that's my last statement. Is there anything else you want no, to say? Exactly. Guys, in a nutshell, we can see where it's going. And wallahi, we all need to... <laughs> I don't even know at this stage what we can do. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we, we just ask Allah to help us. That's all we can do mm -hmm. because it's being promoted left, right and centre. Hope you guys benefited from this video, brothers and sisters. Till next time, inshallah, share this with your friends and family and family members to, inshallah, take precautions in place and educate their children as and well. educate our kids. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Very interesting video. I mean, I like the fact that they started off by saying it's important to crit criticize something. Um, there's a word that you use, I've forgotten it. You're just, you're just, they're just not criticizing something for the sake of or because that they don't like it but because it can help someone out there or maybe help the, the communities that they're coming from. Uh, it really doesn't make sense why they have to do this to, um, what was it, Superman? If I'm not mistaken, if I am, please feel free to correct me. But yeah, it doesn't make sense. 
uh, we're living in a world where we're living under a system where they want to tell us how to do things. You have to go to school. The already said you can't make it without school. You have to, when you get back from school, there's TV, another thing that's programming us to act a certain way, eat certain foods, or talk a certain way. And I don't know, it's really, really going to be up to parents now or our souls out there to control what we take in, what kids out there are taking in, and how they relate. To all that because it's like like they said you can't watch a movie now without seeing certain things in movies certain things in cartoons not even just movies even cartoons as well songs as well it's everywhere so I don't know you can filter out what you watch but we can't control how they um, or what they put in these movies that we watch and the like let me know what you guys actually think about this topic otherwise Talking about something doesn't mean you hate it. Talking about something, critical criticism doesn't mean um, there's some sort of dislike coming from you. It's just a way of just giving out your opinion. I mean, we're all entitled to our opinion at the end of the day. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.